Hey, this is Steve, how are you doing? Now I'm putting this video together for you if you're someone who uses filters on your lens when you're taking your images because no matter what type of filter you use there's a good chance, I mean most of these filters actually what happens is that they'll introduce a bit of a colour cast into your photos. So I'm going to show you a, a really precise way of removing that colour cast so that you know you can do this right at the beginning of a workflow and it's kind of you know resetting that color cast before you start doing any other type of adjustments which are you know just going to exacerbate the problem of uh, incorrect starting point so actually I'll, before i start doing this i'll show you what these example images look like in um, in lightroom just because they're side by side so basically what i've got here this first image i've uh, just taken a picture of a blank wall which isn't actually white it's um yeah it's kind of just off white in my uh, in my office here so i've taken this image without any filters and then this second image here is using a bmw 10 stop um, filter or nd filter otherwise known as the big stopper and i've obviously because it's 10 stop filter i've had to increase the exposure to try and uh, match an image that has roughly the same looking histogram as the original and then the, the second example of using a filter here, I've used the 10 stop Lee Big Stopper filter, which clearly, you know, when you look at the difference between both of these and the original, you can see there is a huge color cast that becomes apparent, especially when shooting a blank wall. Now, you know, depending on what you're actually shooting, you may notice the cast to kind of a lesser degree because of you know all of the natural colors that are happening in a scene anyway but i'm just pop back over into photoshop and uh, yeah so i'm just going to give you the the way of using the first image as a reference point to then correct the color cast in the uh, you know in the filtered images right so what i've got i've got each of these images layered or in their own layers in photoshop so i've got the big stopper the lee big stopper on the bottom layer I've got the bmw big stopper there and then the original one on top. So the first part of this process, what I need to do is just grab my color sampler tool. And I've got an 11 by 11 average sample size here. And I'm just gonna pick a point now, because this image is almost kind of uniform in uh, color and exposure across the, you know, across the frame, I can pretty much pick anywhere on here to, uh, to sample. So I'll click there and just in the info tab or the info window, if you can't find it in your icons over here, just go into window and info. What we need to look at is these values here. So I've got RGB um, values for this color sample that I've sampled here. And that's giving me some digits. And what I need to do is just make a note of these because I need to come back to them in a, uh, in a moment. So I've just got a, uh, just got an ex just got a notepad here, so um, okay, what are we at? One seven nine one seven nine one seven seven and one sixty. Okay, now with that color sample is still uh, still happening there. I'm not doing anything to that. I'm just going to hide this top layer now, and when I do that that sample point is now giving me the RGB values for the, uh, for the uh, BMW Big Stopper layer. So I've got 180, 169, 140. So 180, 169, 140. Press tab instead of return there. Okay, right, now, now I've got these values. All I need to do to correct the, uh, the color here is add a curves adjustment layer. So I'll do that. And I'm going to use each of those RGB values to basically maneuver each of the RGB channels in this curve adjustment. So first things first, just pick the red channel in this drop down, click anywhere on this line to create a point. And when you do that, you notice the uh, input and output values appear down the bottom here. So what I need to do I need to take the second 
um, red value, which is 180. So this is the one that I uh, basically, yeah, this is the red value for the big stopper layer. So 180. So that's the input value. And then I need to put the red value for the target, um, yeah, the target image basically. So this is what we want to correct from, and this is what we want to correct to. So 180 and then 179. Do the same for the green channel. So I'll create that dot there. So we're going 169 to 177. 169 to 177. And now the blue, we're going to go 140 to 160. So create the dot 140 to 160. Right now, so what we're looking at here is actually the big stopper layer, the BMW big stopper, which has got that red color cast with this curves adjustment layer above it. And that's actually removed that color cast completely. So this is the, uh, the layer by itself. And this is with the curves adjustment. Now, hopefully when I uh, reveal this original layer on top, it's going to look pretty close in, uh, in color. So, okay, there we go. That's the original that we're looking at. Now the, the picture moves because I moved the camera when I was uh, putting the filter on the lens. So this is the big stopper with the adjustment and this is the original. So that's a pretty effective color correction there. I can also do the same, of course, with the blue one. And I'll just do a quick example of that now. So I'll just run through it a little bit quicker. So I'll hide all these layers now. And go to the info tab. So I'll just make a note of these RGB values. So 163, 174. Four and one eight seven, and then I can compare these. I can use these with the original layer again. So I've already got those. I don't need to record them again. So we'll just add a curves adjustment layer there. Go to my red channel, click that dot, and we say we're going from one six three to one seven nine. So one six three, one seven nine. The green channel is 174. Oh, hang on. No, I've used the wrong value there. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> Excuse me. That was um, OK. I thought I'd made a mistake. I'll delete those so that I'm not confusing myself. So 174 to 177 on the green channel. So 174 to 177. Blue channel is 187 to 160. And there it is. So that's the color corrected Lee. Um, yeah, the big stopper from Lee. So there we go. There's the blue color cast and that's with it removed. And now this is the original layer. So the colors are pretty much identical now. The, uh, the only, well, there's two main differences between the two shots now. One is the fact that I've moved the, uh, the camera as mentioned before and the second is that you notice the uh, the layer with the filter on you know the big stopper filter it's actually got sort of slightly darker corners and that's just the effect of having a filter on the lens so that's um, yeah because it's a sort of a, a uniformly flat kind of shot that I've taken you can just see that kind of natural looking vignette right now another cool way that we can actually use this is to create a preset of this curves adjustment. So um, I just use the blue, uh, the, the Lee big stopper example here. So what you can do now, it's, it's not going to be perfect for every image because, um, you know, I've tested this out myself and you know, if I create a preset, then, you know, try to use it on different images, then, you know, it's, it's not quite hundred percent. The best result is to actually do this whole sampling procedure on every image. But, you know, if you want to just give yourself a quick, starting point that gets you somewhere close, then you can just save a preset and you can do that by um, you know, just selecting, uh, selecting this icon up here and just choose save curves preset. And then when you do that, it will appear as one of these things here. And I've already got a remove big stopper one that I've created uh, once before. 
So what I'll just do now, just to kind of help you visualize how useful this really is, uh, I've just got another image that I've just uh, been out this lunchtime and taken just for this example. So uh, yeah, okay, I've got three more images here and I'll just run through this a bit, a little bit quicker because uh, you've already seen the process. So I'm just going to just run through it as an example. So this is the original. I've got one shot here, which is sort of slightly warmer. It's got that red color cast from the BMW Big Stopper. And then the layer on the bottom is the Lee Big Stopper, which is, uh, you know, this clearly got a blue color cast. So I'll just run through that process again. So I've got the color sampler tool. And what I'm going to do here, when you've got like a, a normal photo rather than just a blank wall, you want to look for somewhere that is kind of like a middle gray, like a neutral gray. So actually, I've already got a sample point here, which I was using uh, just to uh, just to prepare for this video. Um, so let me just delete that. So uh, right, grabbing that sampler tool, you will notice as as I move the mouse around here. If you look up in the info box over here, you can see all these RGB values changing. So you want to look for somewhere that's kind of around about, you know, like a, a neutral sort of middle gray to get the best result. So I'll, I'll do that and I'll click that there. And now that's stored the RGB values in, uh, in that sample point. So I'll just make a note of those now, 177, 176, 170. Okay, now the, uh, I'll just hide this top layer. So we do the same, make a note now for the big stopper from BMW. So 157143, 127. Okay, now to use those values, I need to add a curves adjustment layer. And I'm gonna pick the red channel there create my first little point and go for 157 to and 177 in these boxes. So 157, 177. Green, we want to go from 143 to 176. And blue is 127 to 170. Two, seven, one, seven, zero. Right, so that's the color corrected BMW Big Stopper version there. So this is the original. This is with the color correction. And now again, hopefully if we just pop back and look at the uh, the original image without any filter again, it should be the same kind of color, uh, the same color palette across the scene. So yeah, you notice the image does change and that's the effect of the filter. Obviously the water is completely smoothed out because I think the uh, shot was somewhere in the region of, I don't know, 15 seconds or something. Um, but yeah, that's that's basically the general gist of it. You know, we're looking to get those colors back to their natural looking state. So just one last thing actually, before I finish this video. So I'll just hide that curves layer and I'll add another, just so that I can test this preset. I mean, I, I used this, um, or I created this remove big stopper preset quite a while ago, and I haven't used it since because I don't tend to use these filters that much. Actually, my partner Sonia, she's uh, amazingly talented at using these uh, these big stoppers and uses them to great effect in her images. So, um, yeah, actually, if you want to just head over to her Facebook page and say hello, then uh, you know, have a look at some of her photos. I'll leave a link below this video. Um, but yeah, otherwise, I'll just so let's have a look at this remove big stopper filter um, color correction uh, saved preset. So there we go. That's one that I created, I don't know how long ago, but let's see how accurate it actually still is. I'm expecting it to be a little bit different, but yeah, still keeps a little bit of the warmth there, but you know, it's a much better um, starting point to, uh, you know, to begin a workflow with. If, if you haven't got the chance to take one of these original shots to compare a filtered shot with, you know, so that you can use it as a reference for these color corrections, then you know it's worth saving a preset. Like I said, you can use it as a good starting point to make any fine-tuned adjustments before you uh, carry on with the rest of your workflow. So yeah, that's it. I'll uh, sign this video off and say thanks for watching and see you again next time.